Have you ever looked up at the night sky, wondering what lies beyond the stars? The shimmering lights above us are only a tiny glimpse into the vastness of the cosmos, a universe so expansive that the human mind can hardly comprehend its true size. In this infinite playground of galaxies, stars, and black holes, there exists an object so massive, so grand, it challenges everything we think we know about the universe. What is the biggest object in the universe? Where is it? And how can we even begin to grasp its unimaginable size? Today, we embark on a journey, not just of discovery, but of understanding. One that will take us from our humble planet, across billions of light years of space, to the very edge of cosmic knowledge. This is the story of the largest object in the universe, a journey that starts small and ends with the unimaginable. Our journey begins on Earth, a small blue dot suspended in a sunbeam. As Carl Sagan once famously said, a world teeming with life, orbiting a star that we call the sun. A star that is just one of over a hundred billion in our galaxy alone. Yet even as massive as the sun seems to us, it's a mere speck of dust compared to the giant structures of the cosmos. Imagine for a moment, you're standing in a forest. Every tree is a star, every branch a distant planet, and every leaf represents a solar system. You look up at the canopy, but above the trees, there's something much, much bigger, a vast network of other forests, stretching as far as the eye can see. This is the universe, a cosmic web connected by gravity, time, and space. Before we venture to the largest object in the universe, we must first understand how small we are. Our solar system, the collection of planets, moons, and the sun, exists in a relatively quiet corner of the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy spans 100,000 light years across, home to hundreds of billions of stars, it is so vast that even traveling at the speed of light, it would take you 100,000 years to cross it. But as enormous as our galaxy feels, it's just one of trillions in the observable universe. Now if the solar system is a single grain of sand, the Milky Way is a beach, but even this beach is dwarfed by what's to come. Our journey continues as we break free from the gravitational pull of the Milky Way and we venture into the vast, empty void between galaxies. This is intergalactic space, a realm so desolate that even light from nearby stars struggles to illuminate it. Our destination is far, far away. To get there, we must travel billions of light years, moving faster than any human technology could ever dream of. As we pass through this cosmic desert, the galaxies around us begin to thin out, becoming distant islands in a dark sea. But something looms in the distance. It's not just another galaxy, it's something far larger, far more awe-inspiring. Before we reach the largest object in the universe, let's take a moment to appreciate the giants along the way. Some of the largest known galaxies, like IC 1101, are thousands of times the size of the Milky Way. IC1101, the titan of all galaxies, spans over 6 million light years across. It contains more than 100 trillion stars, each with its own planets, possibly its own life forms, and certainly its own mysteries. But even IC1101, with all its grandeur, is only a stepping stone on our journey. Beyond these galaxies lies a cosmic structure so vast it defies the imagination. Zooming out even further, we begin to see the universe for what it truly is, a cosmic web. Galaxies, like stars in the night sky, are connected by vast filaments of dark matter, forming a structure that spans the observable universe. These filaments create clusters and superclusters, vast regions where hundreds, sometimes thousands of galaxies, are bound together by gravity. One such supercluster is the Laniakea supercluster, home to the Milky Way. Stretching 520 million light years across, it is one of the largest structures in the observable universe. But we're not done yet. 
Beyond these superclusters lies something even greater. After traveling for billions of light years, we finally arrive at our destination. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. This is the largest known structure in the universe, a cosmic behemoth stretching an unfathomable 10 billion light years across. Yes, you heard that right. 10 billion light years. To put this into perspective, the observable universe itself is only 93 billion light years in diameter, meaning this object takes up a significant portion of everything we can see. This great wall is not a solid object, but a collection of galaxy clusters and superclusters bound together by gravity. Each of those clusters contains hundreds of galaxies, and each galaxy contains billions or even trillions of stars. It's a structure so immense that light itself takes billions of years to travel from one end to the other. As we look upon the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, we're forced to confront our place in the universe. We are but a tiny part of something so immense that words and numbers fail to capture its true scale. This colossal structure and the universe itself reminds us of our cosmic insignificance, but also of our profound curiosity. We, as humans, have always looked to the stars, seeking answers to questions we cannot fully comprehend. What is our place in the universe? Are we alone? What lies beyond? The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall doesn't provide these answers. Instead, it gives us new questions to ponder. How did the universe form? Why is it structured the way it is? And what else might be out there, hidden beyond the veil of space and time? Our journey to the largest object in the universe has been a journey not just through space, but through understanding. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall stands as a testament to the universe's incredible complexity and vastness, a reminder that, even though we are small, our curiosity is limitless. The journey doesn't end here. The universe is always expanding, always evolving, and always hiding new mysteries for us to discover. One day, we may find something even bigger, even more awe-inspiring, but for now, we can stand in awe of what we have found and continue our search for meaning in this vast cosmic sea. Because in the end, the universe is not just a collection of objects, stars, or galaxies. It is a journey. And that journey is far from over.